TFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish down 126, NASDAQ down 26, uh, S&P's down 18. Uh, now, when you take a look at this, folks, that market doesn't look that bad, but get t t uh, let me tell you this. This is a sell-off into the close. Uh, Right, and if we go take a look at the IWM, the small caps, what you're going to see here, this is going to be really dangerous coming into the market tomorrow morning, this wide. So your IWM just closed below the lows on Friday. Uh, lows on Friday, uh, uh, 144.93. You're at 144.76. This has already been barreling into um, the bottom of the, the consolidation, which is at the 145.32. So if we close where we are closing here, at the end of this week, bottom line, your probability gets much higher that the small caps will be the first ones down into the December 2018 lows. They were only at Tuesday, and the small caps already have enough volume to basically blow that away, which is pretty amazing. Um, you know, but that's how, that's how this baby is set up. So that is one monster heads up inside the marketplace. Uh, what we did out here today is that even though we're in a negative situation, you actually went to a higher high and you had a contraction of volume and you failed on price. If we take a look at the SPY, what you're going to see, the SPY got to a price point today of 289.95, gave it up in spades, closed under the high of yesterday. So yesterday we did 72 million shares on the bounce. You did 62 million today. You can see, so we come down Friday with monster volume. Friday you come down with 149 million. You bounced yesterday with 72. You bounced today with 62, but then yet gave it up in spades on price, and you had a contraction of volume, which is really hard to do, by the way, when you get, you know, especially when we're talking about small volume. So that looks to me like you get a nice ABC structure on the way down, and I suspect we're going to be going right after um, the C point would have been today inside the futures, which is 2899. That would set up that this futures, the S&P futures, are going to go after the lows that were generated out here on the 30th, on the 6th, rather, of August, which is 2775. Stay right there, folks. Come back with some numbers.